Hi guys, I was requested for a tutorial for my braided side bun and here are the things you're going to need in order to duplicate this hairstyle. You're going to need hairpins. I like hairpins with the edges, the ends very heavily coated because these can scratch. Once the vinyl or plastic or paint starts to chip off, you have to toss these because this will damage and cut into your locks. You're going to need a tiny, you know, the basic tiny um, black rubber bands. You know, one or two is good. You're gonna need water. This says water and glycerin, but it's plain water in here because I recycle bottles and this is the perfect mister. It mists lightly. And you will need a head tie or a scarf. This is just a cut up t-shirt that I use to tie my hair down. Now, before I started, oops, and we're gonna need hair ties. I got these from the dollar store. The dollar store sells these. Uh, Family Dollar sells these. You get like, I think like five or six for a dollar. I just buy a bunch of them and when they get old and raggedy, I just toss them. Now, before I even started this video, I spritzed my hair and then I tied it down. You can do this before or after. I tied it down underneath, tied it down all the way around, left it for like uh, five minutes. Um, it could have stayed on longer because this is kind of damp. You want to do it till it dries, so don't saturate your hair as much. This is how you get the edges and the hair to not look frizzy. It lies down flat and smooth. Some people like the super polished look. In the previous video that I did, it had a more smoother look. I tied it down for a longer period of time. All right, now the hair ties. You have to make a ponytail. And you make the ponytail where it's you just want the ponytail. I did mine further. Um, it's, it's more forward and tilted to the side a little bit. Tilted to the side a little bit. You can see that on this side of that. Tilt it to the side a bit so it's more pushed up. You see these loops? I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right, now the hair ties. You're gonna loop it like this, okay? Now this thumb just goes around that and this, this top, your forefinger, pointer finger goes like that and you just pull. We need a knot, okay? I'm gonna do that again. See where my thumb is? I'm just gonna hook it. And where my pointer finger is on top, I'm gonna hook it. And I'm just gonna pull the two together till I get a knot. So now I have a knot. This knot is gonna go in the front like so, you're gonna wrap it around and then you are just going to tie it like this. Just tie it and pull really tight and this is that's how it's gonna hold your ponytail. All right, now you have to smoothen out your ponytail. If you have any short locks, you make sure they stay uh, within the ponytail so that the longer hairs cover it. I have some short ones in here, they may poke out. Okay, now you're gonna section off a section of your ponytail. See, there goes one of my short locks. We'll put that in here. All right, section of your ponytail. Oh, I think I could add a little bit more. Okay, now I'm putting that to the side. Just to the side. I now am, there's a short lock that gets tucked in there. Okay, now I'm going to just smoothening out all the locks. I'm just gonna swoop the hair up. I'm doing it at an odd angle. Swoop the hair up. 
I'm gonna grab it and swoop it like that. Now you can do it if you want to cover your eye or anything like that. That's a little too complicated for me, but it's just a suggestion. Now, see how this is brought over, how it's swooped? We're just going to bend it. We're going to take this loop and we're just going to pull it through to just hold it in place. And that's it. Now you have all these loose here's where are they going to go? You're going to tuck them underneath your swoop or your bun. And you're just going to tuck. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Anything that's loose and out, you're just going to tuck. See these are loose and out? We're going to tuck these. You can tuck those in the end. That's where the hairpins come in. I'm trying to make this as neat as possible. If you can see, we're just tucking. All right. You can fluff this out if you want to make it bigger. It's on you. Now we have this piece. We're going to braid it. Don't worry about that. We're going to braid it. I'm going to braid it loosely because we're going to puff it up later. pieces that stick out you'll tuck that in later now this is where a rubber band comes in okay now we're gonna puff so it looks nice and chunky or nice and swollen This is where we get creative and we get the hair pins. Alright. This is where you play with it. I like the way how that's being swooped. So I'm going to pin it in place. That's one, and if you want, you can swoop it down again. More pins. You can swoop it down again. This one is different than in my previous video in the sense that I'm swooping it differently and you pin it. And all of this gets tucked underneath and pinned into place. Any loose ends, tuck, 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 pin, pin, pin.
So that's the side braided bun. All these little loose hairs get pinned. Now in my previous video, it was on the other side and I also had it, I think it came down and then it just went around. You can play with this. This can be shifted over here and then you can have it come up, but I like it just where it is. I like this one better. Each time you do it, you might not always get it the same, but the general idea is the same. All right, 360. And there you have it. All right, guys. So in finding value, please like, share, and comment. And always, always remember to trust your beauty and own it. Peace.